In this video, I'm going to talk about homosexuality. Is it really a disorder or a pathological condition? Now, homosexuality can take place between men and men and women and women. There are different theories as to why one might be having this tendency, the homosexual tendency. Uh, it has also been at some stage talked about that homosexuality might be inherited or in other words there might be a genetic basis for this. Now it is also possible that the learning is a cause for this. Isn't it interesting that animals who are in the wild do not normally display homosexuality but in captivity, in bondage, they display homosexuality. Now that of course begs the question, raises the question, are we really prisoners of the world that we have created? In some ways you might say yes because we need to be at work at 9 o'clock or whatever and uh, be there till whatever and then you know come home. So sort of prisoners we are. So is it really a disorder? You might have heard there are classifications of disorders classified for the purpose of medicine, medical treatment and older versions of this classification of diseases classified homosexuality as a disorder. However, the newer version doesn't classify it as a disorder. Maybe due to political reasons, maybe due to lobbying or maybe actually it is not necessary to or fair to consider this as a homosexual, as a disorder because you might know that, you might have heard that in certain countries even homosexual uh, marriages are allowed. So if you have this tendency I think it is inappropriate that you become worried thinking that I am unwell, I have a disorder. Uh, you can just continue to lead a normal life. However, if there are other psychological problems, then of course you can seek medical treatment for them.